The voyagers were created to explore the outer planets and extend humanity's vision farther than ever before. With cutting-edge technology for their era, the voyagers set off on an extraordinary journey through the outer planets, capturing stunning images and collecting data that would revolutionize our knowledge of the solar system. From Jupiter's turbulent storms to Saturn's majestic rings, the spacecraft brought the cosmos closer to home. Each voyager carried a unique message, the Golden Record, a time capsule intended to communicate the story of Earth to any extraterrestrial life that might find it. This record contained sounds, music, and images of our planet, a testament to humanity's hope for connection with the unknown. In 1981, Voyager 2 approached Saturn, following the path of its sister craft, but this time armed with insights gained from Voyager 1. The spacecraft delved further into the planet's secrets, uncovering that Saturn's rings were not static or uniform, but rather dynamic and complex, featuring kinks, braids, and swirling particles that defied expectations. These discoveries deepened our understanding of planetary ring systems and opened up new avenues for research into celestial mechanics. A few years later, Voyager 2 reached Uranus, a mysterious world with an astonishing 98 degrees tilt in its spin axis. It took breathtaking images of the ice giant, revealing two new rings and 11 previously undiscovered moons. This moment marked humanity's first glimpse of the frozen, otherworldly beauty of this far-off planet. The spacecraft also recorded the planet's bone-chilling temperatures, an incredibly frigid minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit minus 230 degrees Celsius, and passed through a plasmoid, providing detailed insights into Uranus's magnetic field. These findings offered new clues into planetary magnetism and the atmospheric behaviors of ice giants. Perhaps the most iconic image captured by the voyagers wasn't of a faraway planet or an unknown moon, but of Earth itself. Photographed in 1990, as Voyager 1 sailed beyond the solar system, it turned its camera back toward home and captured the pale blue, a photograph that would forever redefine our place in the universe. Taken from over 4 billion miles away, the image showed Earth as a mere 0.12 pixels in size, floating in the vast emptiness of space. This humbling snapshot reminded humanity of our fragility and insignificance in the grand cosmic tapestry. The image inspired countless people, including the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan, who reflected on Earth's vulnerability and the unity it demands from all who call it home. As the years passed, the voyagers ventured farther than anyone had thought possible, breaking through the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the Sun. In 2012, Voyager 1 passed this boundary, with Voyager 2 following in 2018. Both spacecraft entered the unknown expanse of interstellar space. Even in the vast emptiness between stars, Voyager continued its pioneering research. Most recently, its plasma wave system picked up a faint hum, the signature of interstellar plasma. This discovery marked the first continuous measurement of plasma density, providing new insights into the space between stars. Despite being more than 14 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2 continues to transmit data, demonstrating that these aging spacecraft remain essential instruments for exploring the universe. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, the last planet in its grand tour. It became the first and only spacecraft to visit the ice giant, capturing breathtaking images of its deep blue atmosphere, swirling storms, and the fastest winds in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. The spacecraft also studied Triton, Neptune's largest moon, revealing an alien landscape of nitrogen ice and active geysers ejecting material into space. These findings hinted at a subsurface ocean beneath Triton's icy crust, sparking questions about the potential for life in one of the coldest corners of the solar system. Voyager 2 also discovered Neptune's peculiar magnetic field, tilted and offset from its center, challenging existing models of planetary magnetism and furthering our understanding of magnetic dynamics across the solar system. Originally designed to last just five years, Voyager 2 has far surpassed expectations, continuing to transmit data over four decades later. Its longevity is a true reflection of the ingenuity and skill of the engineers who created it. Even in its advanced years, the Voyager 2 team has cleverly managed its power, shutting down non-essential systems to keep its instruments operational. Today, the spacecraft runs on less power than a standard light bulb, yet its scientific contributions remain invaluable. However, as its power reserves steadily dwindle, the mission team faces increasingly difficult decisions about which instruments to prioritize, aware that each passing year brings Voyager 2 closer to its inevitable quiet end. While Voyager 2 continues its scientific mission it also serves another purpose. As humanity's ambassador to the cosmos, the golden record it carries encapsulates the sounds, music, and essence of life on Earth, 
a message meant for any intelligent life that might one day encounter it. From the sound of a mother's heartbeat to greetings in 55 languages, the golden record reflects the diversity and hope of humanity. It is a message that transcends borders and time, reminding us of our shared existence on this tiny planet. Voyager 2's journey may eventually come to an end, but its legacy will endure for billions of years, drifting silently through the galaxy as a testament to our curiosity and resilience. Voyager 2's mission has provided humanity with a perspective like no other. It has revealed the vastness of the universe and the delicate nature of our planet, putting our existence into a context that both humbles and motivates us. As it journeys deeper into the unknown, Voyager 2 continues to remind us of the limitless curiosity that fuels our desire to explore. It acts as a link between what we understand and what remains a mystery, challenging the boundaries of what we believed possible and urging us to seek even greater answers in the vast emptiness beyond the solar system. Voyager 2 has encountered a realm unlike anything imagined. Here, the spacecraft's instruments have detected a faint hum of plasma waves, the background music of interstellar space. This discovery provides humanity's first continuous measurement of plasma density, offering insights into the environment between stars. These measurements have revealed a complex and dynamic interstellar medium, challenging previous assumptions about the void between solar systems. Voyager 2 sensors have shown that even in the farthest reaches of the galaxy, space is teeming with subtle activity. However, the spacecraft's journey has not been without its obstacles. As it moves further from Earth, its signals weaken, demanding cutting-edge technology and resourcefulness to sustain communication. It now takes more than 18 hours for a signal to reach Earth, underscoring the immense distance it has covered. The mission team has worked relentlessly to keep Voyager 2 functional, overcoming challenges like hardware limitations and the harsh effects of deep space radiation. Every message received is a testament to human perseverance, reminding us of our relentless drive to explore the unknown. Despite the spacecraft's dwindling power, the data it continues to send offers invaluable insights, advancing our understanding of the universe in ways we once thought impossible. Voyager 2's pioneering journey has paved the way for a new era of space exploration. Its findings have informed the design of modern telescopes and spacecraft, enabling humanity to dream even bigger. The data from Voyager 2 has inspired missions to icy moons where subsurface oceans may harbor life. It has also influenced the study of exoplanets, guiding scientists in their search for habitable worlds beyond our solar system. Though Voyager 2's mission will one day end, its legacy will endure, serving as a foundation for the next generation of explorers who will continue to push the limits of what we can achieve. Voyager 2's last transmissions brought some of the most breathtakingly beautiful images ever captured, pictures of the outer reaches of our solar system and the soft light of distant stars. These images are a final gift from a spacecraft that has journeyed farther than any other human-made object in existence. They offer a powerful reminder of the immense scale of space and humanity's small yet meaningful place within it. These final views reflect both how far we've come and how much more is yet to explore. Voyager 2's mission is a story of human ingenuity, perseverance, and the unyielding desire to explore. Over four decades, this small spacecraft has traveled farther than we ever imagined, uncovering secrets of the solar system and venturing into the vast unknown of interstellar space. As its power diminishes, Voyager 2 continues to send back faint whispers of data, a final echo of its monumental journey. While Voyager 2 of May eventually fade into silence, the market leaves will echo throughout time, a beacon of hope, inspiration, and the enduring potential of human exploration in the infinite expanse of space. The story of Voyager 2 is not merely one of technology and science, it is a saga of imagination, perseverance, and the unyielding spirit of exploration. Launched on August 20, 1977, just days before Voyager 1, Voyager 2 embarked on what would become the longest, most audacious journey ever undertaken by a man-made object. Its twin mission was bold, to explore the outer planets of the solar system, but the implications would be much more far-reaching. It would become a timeless emblem of human curiosity and determination. The conditions of space beyond Earth are harsh and unrelenting. Radiation, micrometeoroids, and the cold vacuum pose constant threats to spacecraft systems. And yet, the Voyager probes have not only endured, they have thrived far beyond their expected lifespans. Voyager 2 was originally designed for a five-year mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn. But thanks to an extraordinary planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years, engineers were able to design a trajectory that would allow the spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune as well. This grand tour would have seemed like science fiction just a decade earlier. Voyager 2 first encountered Jupiter in 1979. 
While Voyager 1 had already transmitted stunning images and valuable data, Voyager 2 followed up with an even closer look at the gas giant's immense magnetosphere, its swirling cloud layers, and its mysterious moons. The probe sent back high-resolution images of Io's volcanic activity, the first ever seen outside Earth. It also captured Ganymede's cratered surface and Europa's icy crust, hinting at the possibility of a subsurface ocean. These discoveries reshaped our understanding of planetary geology and laid the foundation for future missions such as Galileo and Juno. Then came Saturn, with its intricate ring system and plethora of moons. Voyager 2 flew closer to the planet's rings than any spacecraft before it, revealing previously unseen ringlets, wave patterns, and mysterious gaps. These features suggested the presence of small moonlets and gravitational interactions that continue to fascinate scientists. The spacecraft's flyby of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, revealed a thick atmosphere, rich in nitrogen and organic molecules. It was a compelling clue that the ingredients for life might exist far from Earth. Titan's enigmatic haze and Earth-like processes, rain, rivers, lakes, would later inspire NASA's Dragonfly mission. Voyager 2's 1986 encounter with Uranus was groundbreaking in its own right. Uranus had never been visited before, and everything Voyager observed was new to human eyes. It found a featureless, bluish-green sphere, but appearances were deceiving. Beneath the calm exterior lay intense atmospheric dynamics and a bizarre magnetic field tilted 60 degrees from its axis and offset from the planet's center. This unexpected configuration puzzled scientists and challenged previous theories about planetary magnetism. Voyager 2's discovery of 11 new moons and two faint rings further enriched our understanding of this icy world. In retrospect, the mission's brevity at Uranus was a limitation of the era's technology, but the data it did capture remains the only close-up information we have about the planet to this day. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, the final destination in its planetary tour and the last unexplored giant of the solar system. It discovered a deep blue world, with fierce winds and enormous storms, including the Great Dark Spot, a tempest comparable in size to Earth. Voyager 2 confirmed the existence of six new moons and revealed Neptune's thin, fragmented ring system. The encounter with Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was perhaps the most intriguing. Triton orbits the planet in a retrograde direction, suggesting it may be a captured object from the Kuiper belt. Voyager 2 revealed a geologically active surface, with nitrogen geysers erupting from beneath icy plains, evidence of internal heat and a potentially liquid layer beneath the crust. What makes the Voyager missions extraordinary is not just what they discovered, but how they did so with the limited computing power of the 1970s. Each probe carries an 8-track digital tape recorder and has less memory than a modern calculator. Despite these limitations, the spacecraft have returned over 100,000 images and an immense volume of scientific data. The Deep Space Network, NASA's global system of radio antennas, has enabled communication over vast distances, growing more refined over the years to adapt to the weakening signals and increasing delay. Every adjustment, every patch, every calculation had to be flawless, as there would be no second chances. Even now, the Voyagers are pushing the boundaries of science. Having entered interstellar space, they are the first spacecraft to sample the environment beyond the sun's influence. Voyager 2's plasma wave instrument recorded the density and temperature of interstellar plasma, confirming that the interstellar medium is not a silent void but a place filled with subtle electromagnetic activity. These measurements have profound implications for understanding the galaxy's composition and how solar systems interact with the broader cosmic environment. The spacecraft also detect cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and particle waves, all of which are vital to astrophysics. Philosophically, the Voyager missions transcend science. They represent a message in a bottle, a tiny emissary drifting through the universe, carrying with it the essence of Earth. The Golden Record, designed by a team led by Carl Sagan, includes greetings in 55 languages, sounds of nature, musical compositions from various cultures, and encoded images of life on Earth. Among them are pictures of human anatomy, mathematics, architecture, and everyday life. The cover of the record bears symbolic instructions for any intelligent life form who might find it. While the probability of discovery is slim, the gesture itself is powerful. It is an act of cosmic outreach, a way of saying, we were here. This blend of science and humanity is what makes the Voyager program so enduring. It reminds us that exploration is not just about acquiring knowledge, it is about expression, meaning, and connection. The Voyagers are more than machines, they are cultural artifacts, carrying our collective dreams, values, and curiosity. As the decades passed, 
maintaining communication with the Voyager spacecraft became increasingly challenging. Engineers had to make tough decisions, turning off instruments to conserve energy. The onboard radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert the heat of decaying plutonium into electricity, gradually lose power. Yet even today, the spacecraft continue to function with a fraction of their original energy capacity, an astonishing feat of engineering longevity and foresight. Their continued operation is thanks in no small part to the dedication of the Voyager team. These scientists and engineers have formed a unique bond with the spacecraft, treating them almost as living entities. Every signal received, however faint, is a triumph. Every bite of data, a treasure. Their work has inspired generations of scientists, from planetary scientists to aerospace engineers, and fueled countless innovations in spacecraft design and remote communication. Moreover, the Voyager's data have become foundational. They are frequently referenced in scientific papers, used in modeling of exoplanetary systems, and taught in classrooms around the world. The missions have helped clarify our